being part of the climbing community before Paris is really quite cool because it is quite a new sport. We are still quite young. To see it grow and to have an influence over that growth and be able to make an impact in the way that things will actually work is, is really important to me. You sort of see things as you grow up through it and things that you want to be better and now I might actually have the opportunity to be part of making it better. So my coaching journey actually started here at Ratho. I was an athlete uh, on the junior team. I started climbing at 12 and competed internationally for six years. And then at 16 to sort of 18, I started working with some of the younger kids, mentoring them. Once I finished competing as a junior, I went back and started coaching the junior team for GB and went internationally with them. And then from that point, I've sort of progressed on. Got work with the senior team and sort of done a full circle moment to now be coming back to run this event here as a coach. Rachel has had a massive impact on my climbing career. I started working with her before I got on the Scottish youth team. She's coached me through GB junior team and now onto GB senior team. Rachel's definitely become better at knowing what, what I need. She knows if I need someone to be like, Louise, just stop. Like athletes have a tendency to just go for it far too much all the time. She's also been developing as a coach throughout her time coaching me. In training, she'll make me figure things out. She'll be like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Match and then across and then come back and then you can go again to silver, into the side pool. Gaston? Yeah. And then <laughs> match. But then they're also able to push you when you need it to get the highest level of performance. I think communication is key to like a good coaching relationship and understanding each other. I kind of thought you would rest a little bit more here. Did you not like that hold? Um, I probably could have actually. Did you just see Joe resting up here? So you sort of decided but to do But I was the same just thing? like, oh, let's just continue because I feel all right. I think this would have been a really easy point for you to sort of panic because this is definitely where it jumps up a level. Yeah. But you managed to sort of like keep it together, think about what you're doing. Your movement was definitely like one of the better movements that I saw throughout the day. Uh -huh. Like, definitely used your technical strengths to carry through it and sort of help you save some energy here and there. Like, I never looked up and saw any female coaches when I was younger and wanted to be them. It didn't seem something possible. It just kind of happened for me. Again, like, making something seem achievable. You can't be what you can't see, or you can, but it's really, really difficult. So it, it creates that pathway. So I'm trying to create those spaces where it's not so difficult and so you don't have to put as much work in to try and get to where the men are. It's just how it is. It's just a fair leveling that playing field. I'd love to see more female coaches, especially in climbing, because there's so few of us. Any chance I get to try and encourage more of the female coaches I know to keep sort of driving forwards in their career paths to come up to national level. I'd, I'd chat to them all the time and say how rewarding it is. I mean, my dream as a coach is, of course, to be an Olympic coach. I'd love to have some athletes that I have worked with from start to finish get onto that stage and compete and hopefully win medals in the future.